Anytime I'm sitting inside the closed guard, my number one priority, my primary defense is my posture. And so what I mean by that is as long as I have my posture, as long as I'm able to maintain posture, it becomes very, very difficult for my opponent to set up any submissions. So, so even with me giving him my arm, it's very difficult for him to go for an arm bar. Go for an arm bar. He doesn't have the angle. He doesn't have any chokes. He doesn't have any triangles. He doesn't have any um, opportunities to go for a Kimura. All of his attacks start once I lose my posture. So once my posture is broken, now, yeah, move your hip out and go for an arm bar. Yeah, he has an arm bar available. He's got triangles. So all of his attacks start to become available once I get my posture broken, okay? So cross your legs. So how I keep my posture is really, really important. That's my primary defense. So anytime I'm sitting inside the guard, first thing I wanna do is I wanna have my knees just cradling the outside of his hips. So my knees are just kind of pinching a little bit to the outside of his hips. From here, I never wanna be sitting with what we call an S curve in the back. So right now, my back, there's a little bit of a curve and my tailbone sticking out. If he tries to pull me in right now, pull me in, I'm gonna fall, okay? So that's the thing. Also is I never wanna rely on my hands for my posture. So if I'm relying, if he pulls me in and I start to push with my hands or rely on my hands, not only can he clear my arms, but now that I'm pushing with my arms, arm locks start to become available. So I wanna make sure that I'm just relying on my hips for my posture. So anytime I'm sitting in the guard, first thing I wanna do is I'm going to start to tuck my hips underneath me, okay? So instead of what we call an S curve in the back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a J curve, okay? So now all I'm doing is tucking my hips underneath me and it's all it is is a little bit of a pelvic tilt or rotation. So now if he tries to pull me in, pull, pull with your legs, it's very difficult for him to pull me in. If I create this S in my back, just pull your knees to you a little bit. Yes, you feel how I'm falling in. So this is a really, really subtle movement and it's really, really difficult to see, but it has a tremendous impact on his ability, my opponent's ability to be able to pull me down from the guard. So anytime I'm sitting here, the first thing I wanna do is I'm just going to tuck my hips a little bit. And as I tuck my hips underneath, now I wanna make sure that my hands are off to the side, pull me in. I just wanna make sure that my hips feel really, really strong. So that's the first drill to play around with from the closed guard, sitting in the closed guard, is tucking your hips and seeing if your partner can pull you down. Now, anytime I do feel like I'm falling a little bit, what I can do is I can lift my hips off of my heels just a tiny bit, just enough to relieve myself from falling, okay? But I also, as my hips come up, as my butt comes off my heels, I don't wanna create that S curve. And so what I mean by that is this. Sometimes if I feel I'm falling, so just pull me slowly. If I feel I'm falling, I don't wanna see, put my belly forward and create this S curve because now pull me in a little bit, I'm going to fall. So from here, if I need to lift my, my, my butt off my heels a little bit, the idea is I keep tucking my hips underneath me. So again, my hips are tucked, start to pull me in a little bit. As I start to come in, pull me in, pull me in, I start to tuck my hips underneath me. So I keep engaging my hips. So I keep this pelvic rotation or the pelvic tilt where I'm tilting my pelvis up so that when he goes to pull, pull, pull me in, pull me in. Very difficult for him to pull me in, okay? So as long as I can keep my posture and not get broken down, like I said, it's very, very difficult for him to submit me and that will be my primary defense. So that's the first drill, the first thing we wanna to start to develop. Um, and that's a drill that I do with all of my students is we go no hands, person on top not using hands, and they're not allowed to put the hands on the knees either, just hands off to the side, and the person on the bottom is just pulling a little bit. Start off at about 20%, then work your way up to 30%, 50%, all the way till you can go 100% pulling, and the person inside the guard is not falling.